My lovelies, it's great that you're here with a new video here at the main station, because I've just made another video and we're going to test the eternal rivals against each other. I think these are actually the two biggest German burger chains, not in Germany. Germany is of course also what kind of crap I have now should shut up, except of course Burger King, McDonald's and so on, but the really German, biggest burger chains, Peter Pan and Hans, luckily eternal rivals too. Well there were also, I won't go into detail now, there were actually court cases and this and that, one of them stole something in the design and he wasn't allowed to instate blub, and they had a real fight in court, it was a long thing, as I said, let's not go into it too much, we both have a smashburger now, which we can compare well, we're going to compare a smashburger, Peter Payne against Hans, luckily, the eternal rivals, see you now at Peter Payne, we're there, I always assume that everyone knows what's happening, hey, my colleague is just saying to me, what's happening now, I'm saying how what's happening, I didn't even tell him what we're doing, we're doing an undercover comparison straight away, because why, yes, simply because that's how it is these days, simply, we're doing an undercover comparison, he gets the thing out, I'm more annoyed by it right now, it should be uninfluenced, just like everyone gets a burger out, not a camera bonus, I'm in the mood for that right now and that's how we do it, he's getting me one from Peter Payne and yes, we're just snacking, did I say that we're testing a smash burger and we're going to do a smash burger comparison, we're doing a smash burger comparison, I wanted to say that too, we're testing a smash burger straight away, yes, we're doing a comparison, now we're cleverly taking a look, hey, luckily my colleague pointed it out to me, whether it is a single or a double smash, we order doubles from both, because at Hans I am Gluck it's a double smash with burger cheese, cheddar cream and mustard gherkins, Relly's brioche spreads and they have both, they have both, we'll take double, it's a wild comparison, the two biggest convenience stores, hey, let's see what we can do, let's say, well, that's what my colleague is saying right now, at Peter Pan's, it doesn't look like a smash burger, it looks like bullets, simple, I'm excited to see what they'll come up with now, because I was also surprised, because they actually have frozen goods, so no secret is half as bad, yes, and I thought, then they have fresh patties now, but it turns out not. We'll see in a moment whether it's frozen or whether it really is a smash burger. You're not actually allowed to call it a smash. So, we're on our way now. My colleague has to be out soon. He's already ordered. Should be ready soon. True words. Can you read that from here? That's how it is, dear friends. That's how it is. The kind of locations Peter Pan has. Hey, that's abnormal. I don't want to know how much the rent costs. What's my guess? I'll show it right away. I'll say it costs 15 bills. Hey, fine. I don't know how many seats there are. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to torment my colleague right now. I want to know how much the rent costs. My colleague is a bit of a shy salesman and he'll probably be annoyed if you see that right now. Dear Pi, then you'll hate me for it. Whoever of you can guess the right amount in the comments as to how much the rent costs. I'll go in right now and ask him. He should owe. He'll hate me. Hey. And whoever guesses correctly in the comments will get a 100 euros voucher. That's how we'll do it. Just come here. So we don't have to take it so seriously today. I'm just going to have a look around here. You're also thinking about good old Peter P, right? There are Uncle Monty's good sponsors, so always keep that in mind. What am I doing? I'm going to scare my colleague. Now let's see if we can do it. If you want to scare someone, someone else is coming out. That's happened to me before. Comes out manually. Can my colleague see him? I can see when he comes out. Look, do you see that? There he is. There he is. My colleague saw him. No, he didn't. Very good. I'm going to scare him. That'll be good. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, hey. Okay, perfect. Hey, great. Luckily I don't have my other cover agent with me today. Otherwise I'd be screwed. Screwed. Oh yes. Here he is. Here he is. And now let's take a look in peace, my dear. Oh, great. I'd say, no, it's not exactly. They're staying true to their concept and churning out frozen things, which isn't objectionable. That's the concept of standardization and so on. First of all the positives. Awesome, fresh rains, ban, relatively special, crispy crust, you. Don't come along every day. It's not the best banner in the world, but it's special and different, which I'm always in favor of. Decent cheese, but but but, of course you have to say, you can't get away from this frozen tie. If it really competes with top burgers, it doesn't make sense. So you notice this frozen feeling, it's just natural. In theory, with that size you could also churn out medium. Not that easy, but you could. But this compressed, hard, it's also dry in some ways. You can't get that out of the frozen thing. You have to put it into perspective somehow. Ban is a bit like a milk roll, not wrong, really everything around it, the sauce is really reasonably suitable, match, good cheese, fresh ingredients, everything is great, now we have to see how we rate it, we'll have the Hans in Gluckburger and then we'll see if we can find a good comparison.
I forgot one thing, right? I just made a bet with the community. They're supposed to estimate how much the rent for Peter Pan costs and now the question is, because I'm not allowed to show it. Can you go in and ask how much the rent costs? Yes, of course. Yes. No. Why not? Is it really rubbish? Or why? Do people like that? They don't know. Yes, it was a question. I would be very interested to know. I just had a bet with some colleagues. Can you tell me how much it costs? Then think of something and come out again. Don't you dare? What do you mean no balls? You don't ask that. No. You don't do that, do you? So. You've got no balls, in short. Yes, I've got. No balls. Yes. Okay. Only 400 meters away. No, or 800. You say. 800, right? Yes, we'll take that one. All right. Done. Everything's fine. He's on. Yes, no. Yes, come on. Let's take it. Cool. Then we'll be right there. See you right now at Hansi's in Gluck. Totally easy. E we're right there. I think he's right here on the corner. No, not really. Where's a Hansi? It's on the left. Hansi. He's not a Hansi. Guys, we don't see any Hansi right now. I'm getting out now. E if that's annoying, we could have just gone to my hut. There's a Hansi there too. There's a Hansi. Hey, stupid. Ellipsis dot. Ellipsis dot. We both look to the left. Oh no, we're stupid. He's right next to Wonder. B double smash, my dear. My dear. No, we're not high, high to the sky. We're eating smash or smash now. Well, we'll probably have to move this part of the shoot to another day, because Hans Gluck apparently only has the smash burger on Mondays. Yes, and that's why we're calling Hans Gluck in Hamburg and seeing if they've got the smash burger, and if not, then we'll just shoot on the next day. Fair isn't that perfect right now. He'll be calling right away. You might be lucky. Hello. Yes, hi, my dear, greetings. I wanted to ask if you're having the smash burger today too. Unfortunately, only on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll be here in Hamburg at 9 o'clock on Monday and we're going to test Handsome Gluck, who only has his smash burger on Mondays. He's called T. Ah yes, I've got Hawk and Abby here. Hawk and Abby. Hi. Well, he'll be getting the burger out right away, and Marcus is here too. Marcus is here too. We're going now. Am I talking too much nonsense again? Hey, now we'll get a burger out and then we'll do a direct comparison of what we're here for. And luckily Hans is in there. Also a big building in the corner, there he is. The guys are here. Hey, the guys are here. There are two different double smash. I got you both. There are two different double smash. What's that all about? Yes, it comes in cheesy and blue cheesy. Oh, cheesy and blue cheesy. Okay, then I'll test it out for fun. But the normal cheesy goes into the rating. Yes, that's the normal cheesy. Okay, okay, that's the normal cheesy. It's really good, I think. Tastes like a raisin bun without the raisins, I swear. Liquid cheese sauce on top. Confusing sweetness. I don't know what to do with it right now, but it's not necessarily bad. But I'm not so confused by this sugary sweetness, this stupid way of adding sweetness. Whether it's with honey, whether it's caramelly, the onions are a thousand possibilities. Legs are good though, nice and crispy. The salad number is rarely done. There's McDonald's vib and I don't mean that in a bad way. These are the kind of things that take you away from your childhood with the onions, they'll get you the blood cheese. Also normal shepherd's cheese on it or what? Do they really smash blue cheese? As far as I know, both Hans and Gluck and Peter Pan only have frozen PYs otherwise. This will be the only one. They only have it on Monday. Logically, I thought beforehand that they would come here and get fresh ones. This is probably the only fresh PY at Hals and Gluck. That confusing sweetness back in. Blood is not exactly unpresent though. Open the snake and we're going to get the rating. As good old Lucas would say, ladies and gentlemen, we have a clear starting point. PY is better at Hans I am Gluck. Ban is better at Hans I am Gluck. Peter Fawn has this whole game around the patty and the patty, that is, the sauce game and so on. You know, that was more consistent with Peter PNE. This sweetness was a bit irritating with Hans I am Gluck. Peter Payne was one of those things with the petty you made compromises, you noticed. Okay, it's frozen. You felt it straight away as someone who often eats burgers, but everything around the outside was really fresh and hard to eat. So I'll try to express it like this for both shops. You know, you're not getting the high-end, high-end burger. A lot of it is the experience. Look at the shops inside, sitting there, having a drink and so on. Mega cool, mega relaxed. You can have a great time and you have stable, standardized processes and you won't have an inconsistent product and you have a delicious burger in both shops. So I can only say good things about the shops. 
but I have to raid the burgers too and I come to Peter Payne. It's a frozen thing, everyone knows that. They know themselves, of course, that they don't want to be at the top, they want a stable product. I'd give it a 58. It's delicious. You can have an Uncle Monty Goner cocktail with it or whatever they have there. Yes. And at Hans I am Gluck, what do I give? Hey. I wouldn't have thought that they had a fresh, sweet petty. The basic casing is solid. The sauce, well, this sweetness has shot itself in the foot. It could get a 66. It really was like that. Somehow it was hard to eat. PY maybe didn't smash it perfectly, but it was still well-rounded. We have a little winner. It's Hansi I am Blood today. Yes, thank you for watching, it was fun. Huh, interesting video. Hey, kiss, kiss. Feel free to leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Lots of people have already eaten it. Your opinion is important and yours. Have a nice day, have a nice Thursday, have a nice Sunday. I don't know what it is today. And until next time.